Hi, I'm Amy Porter, and this is my podcast. My mission is to show people how to empower themselves through music, business, and media. I try to see as clearly as possible how I can help. I showcase the music that I've played and the people I've met along the way. I'm a wife and a stepmom. You might know me as a professor, a performer, a producer, a publisher, a recording artist. I'm the founder of a couple of nonprofits. Welcome in to my Porter Flute Pod. Welcome to Porter Flute Pod. It's season six, episode 12. And well, it's a wrap. This is my final episode for these three months. I wanted to take the end of 2023 and celebrate you, the listeners. And I want to tell you how much I appreciate your listenership. You have choices when it comes to who you take advice from. And I feel like my advice comes from some great minds of our lifetime. I'm giving you advice as a way of connecting to community and letting you know that I hear you. You want to know stuff and you especially want to know my opinion. So my opinion's only worth something if you took it and it worked. And I appreciate you. I went to the vault and found a recording from a rehearsal, so don't judge the sound. It's from my iPhone on my music stand in 2018. I just can't stop bringing it back. It's a Christmas carol. It came upon a midnight clear and so beautifully arranged by Jamie Malfinger. Deborah Freeoff is at the piano. We're rehearsing at my beloved St. Andrew's Church here in Ann Arbor. Welcome to Porter Flute Pod. I'm so happy you're here. I'm going to head over to the episode rankings analytics for Porter Flute Pod, and I'm going to talk about the top seven for 2023. First, I need your uh, help here in listening to episode six in season six this season. I used some Spotify music of Delandria Mills, and somehow by using that music, it didn't get any airplay so it's only at 18 listens so head on over and listen to Demi's flute entering the realm of sound it's my book review of Delandria Mills amazing book okay usually I use my own music from my vault as I say so uh, let's look at the top seven podcasts from 2023 we have the bonus what's up Amy (laughs) you really like knowing what's up uh you really loved season four episode four symphony symphony stories with christina smith principal flute of the atlanta symphony orchestra there was some juicy gossip in there you really are enjoying the stay well play well injury and injury prevention that was season three episode seven that's an important one Okay, coming in here to the top four, performance therapy. Oh my goodness, season one, episode one, musical fear and the great unknown. We'll talk about the great unknown. It's my first episode of my first season and it's still high in the rankings. You wanna hear the first episode? That's fine, I'm just nervous. Okay, coming in number three, story time. William S. Haynes Flutes Welcoming Personal Resonance. That was also from season one. Oh my goodness, episode 22. I did 24 episodes that season. Well, I had a couple of producers helping. It was during COVID. Wow, 24. Well, this time I'm only doing 12. Okay, moving on. The second most popular this year. Season four, episode eight, Let's Talk Sound, Anatomy of Sound, LLC, and AOS Wellness. I'm so glad you were interested in the transition from in-person to online. And finally, the biggest, most listened to 
episode. Drum roll, please. Of course. Season 5, Episode 12, Storytime, The William Bennett Legacy with Lorna McGee and guests. That was so special. It was his birthday. It would have been his birthday. And it was just it was just so special. So thank you to all who contributed, all who listened. You are making Porter Flute Pod worth it for me. And I just appreciate it so very, very much. I'll begin with my favorite platform, YouTube. It's where I put pretty much everything. So when I got the year in review from YouTube, oh my goodness, I'm so grateful. Really. I have 53 more people in a month subscribing. We have over 6,700 people subscribing since I began the channel. And I can tell you the number one video. Are you ready? Griffiths poem. You can't get enough of the Griffiths poem, guys. Who's playing that out there? Who needs the Griffiths poem so many times? It's literally the number one video on Porter Flute channel. Okay, the number two video on Porter Flute, Burton, Sonatina, Movement One, that famous video from Kaohsiung, Taiwan. And then there's the third most viewed video, and it used to be the number one, of course, from Taipei, Taiwan, the National Concert Hall, Georges U. Fantasy, with Christopher Harding on piano. And rounding out the top five, we have Bach G minor flute sonata, and then from the lullaby playlist, Saint-Saëns, the Swan. Now, the lullaby playlist is very interesting. It's something I did in the summer with Catherine Goodson, and we recorded a bunch of lullabies and beautiful pieces, and I was thinking that they could help people sleep. Well, this lullaby playlist has helped people in all kinds of situations. So, I mean, even when people have been in hospice and they need some comfort, they put the lullaby playlist on to comfort them and, the, and their loved one. So I'm just so thankful that you've turned to some of my playlists. Let's turn over to Amy Porter's Anatomy of Sound. That YouTube channel has some different content. That was a channel I started so that I could put up my recitals from the workshop. Well, the recitals the content, you love it. Like, you can't stop watching Regrets and Resolutions by Gary Shocker. Thank you so much for the love on that. Then there's Trudy Kane and I playing Doppler with uh, Tim Carey on piano. And then you really are enjoying the Giza King sonatine with Tim Carey on piano. Uh, this is all over at Amy Porter's Anatomy of Sound. So if you're at my Porter Flute channel looking for the Giza King or the Gary Shocker piece, just head on over to Amy Porter's Anatomy of Sound. We have a thousand subscribers and just <laughs> it keeps growing so much. I appreciate it. I didn't want to take the content from one channel, move it over to another one. Just you'll find it. Well, you probably are wondering what I watch on YouTube. So my YouTube watching is not about music. It's probably about advice on home decorating, for instance. I really love the House of Valentina. Now, what is that? That's Val Valentina Fusilli. She's um, a person who decorates homes in order to get them sold. So she's a, an interior designer, and she's so fun. She drinks her coffee. She's with her husband. They go out shopping, they stay home. Um, they're just so fun. So check out the house of Valentina. Another podcast I love, and I actually will throw it up on YouTube sometimes is the Mel Robbins podcast. She gives some really great advice. In fact, 
last week, she talked about the five zones of the day. So check out Mel Robbins. And then um, also on YouTube, I will maybe see some features of news. But listen, when it comes to the news, I check Reuters or AP. When you just want the facts, you should go to a news source and maybe avoid the tainted, opinionated channels that you might come across on YouTube. So AP, like the AP, Associated Press, or Reuters. Anyway, that's YouTube in my life. Thank you to my 6,775 subscribers. And if you're not subscribing to YouTube, I really love this channel. It's where I can put everything that I'm doing that's serious and that you need to check out. Before I move on from YouTube, I have to just say, I forgot Marie Forleo. Marie Forleo, I love you on YouTube. And that's where I discovered her. So check out Marie Forleo and Marie Forleo's podcast. I wouldn't be anywhere without Marie and Marie TV. A place for you to know and love your business. <laughs> that's what she says. Okay, Spotify, you're not my streaming service but you do host my podcast so thanks to spotify for hosting uh, my my streaming service is called live one and that's a whole other streaming service that i've had forever um and on on live uh one i listen to a channel called new dance now I mean, there's Calvin Harris, there's David Guetta, there's everything. So if you want to check out the music I listen to, it's like Chainsmokers and Sophie Tucker, all that dance stuff. All right. But you are listening to me play classical music. So super fun. Here's my year in review from Spotify. Amy Porter Flutist had 21,000 streams, 4,000 listeners, over 1,000 hours of listening in, are you ready? 82 countries. Thank you, 82 countries, for listening to Porter Flute. Now, the podcast, and that's where you are right now, my friends, you're in one of the top podcasts for 40 fans. 40. 40 of you. We are the top podcast for 40 people. Amazing. Let's have a party. Woohoo! And then... 93 people consider Porter Flute Pod their top five podcast. Yes. And we're a top 10 podcast for 125 people. I'm just so, so grateful. And it's so much fun to make a podcast. A lot of people are doing it and more flute podcasts are getting on the bandwagon. And that's awesome. Incredible. We need so many opinions. And as I said before... I have an opinion and obviously you're asking for it. So I thank you so much for this Spotify season. There are only numbers, but hey, this is where you are in Spotify. Thank you for hosting the podcast. Next up, Amazon. Why Amazon? Well, we need to know what's selling out there. And you're obviously enjoying the Six Cello Suites for Flute by J.S. Bach. It's so beautiful to play these cello suites up two octaves, and then they're in the right key. Maybe a little bit of a different sound. Another thing that's selling well are the Rose Etudes for Flute. Now, one thing you should know about this. This is an addition that has a CD in the back of, of a piano accompaniment. So there was someone a long time ago in the very 
the first iteration of these etudes who wrote a piano part and Carl Fisher kept that in there. Some of the metronome markings are different. Uh, one of them I noticed, someone told me on Facebook, there was a comment about a tempo marking. Listen, there's a dot missing on that. I think it should say a dotted quarter. So before you start judging a tempo, make sure that it's not a mistake and that you're miss not missing a dot or something. Anyway, I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole of Facebook to go and correct that, I'm sure you all have done it for this person, but the Rose Etudes do have that interesting piano kind of accompaniment to them. I'm choosing not to take those tempi and I have everything uh, from that Etude book on the YouTube channel. So study all the 32 Rose Etudes originally for clarinet and before that the they were, you know, the oboe Etudes of Fairling. These are now um, performed by me on YouTube. You also are enjoying the Telemann 12 Fantasias for flute. You know, I, I, um, I released them as an album after the study guide came out. So um, that is just a little extra. It's a short album, but hey, you just want them all in one place. Here's another one. Gobert's Treasure treasures for solo flute uh, and piano. You are buying that up. It's a labor of love, that edition. And hopefully you have a list of the seven errata in all of the 11 works there in treasures. If you can't find it, it's on amyporter.com. And I've said before in podcasts, being a publisher is very difficult and some little mistakes are going to slip through the cracks. So I really hate it when that happens. And I'm the first to say I made a mistake. So go to amyporter.com and you'll see errata for the additions that I've made. Moving over to the Meta Business Suite, I'll go to the Insights page under Audience. And I want to talk about my audience because I want to thank you and I want to tell you where you are. So the Instagram, thank you Danny Meng for your help this year on the feed, the posts, I mean most of it's her and I just, gosh, I couldn't do it without you. So the Instagram followers, you are from New York City, yes, and Ann Arbor, of course. You're coming from Iran and Brazil. You're listening to me on Facebook in New York again, and then Taiwan all over the place in Taipei, Kaohsiung, Taichung, New Taipei City, incredible. Also, you're listening here in Ann Arbor, thank you in LA, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Bangkok, Thailand, and Mexico City. So thank you so much for listening to this English speaking podcast. It's just, I'll try and speak slowly and distinctly. You're listening in Brazil, Italy, Mexico, Spain, United Kingdom, Canada, Turkey, and France. So, wow. That's all I have to say. Let's talk numbers, as Kai Rizdahl would say on NPR. Our Facebook followers, we are at 8,768. That's for Amy Porter Flutist. And over on Instagram, 9,971. And if you follow the numbers on Instagram, you know that 10K is where you need to be to secure something blue. And that little blue dot, I don't even know what it means. So I think 
I'm just going to keep following my heart, not look at the numbers, except at the end of the year like this. I'm not a numbers girl. In fact, I'd rather hire someone to, to do the data part. And me, I'd rather just sit and create the content for you. So thanks, Meta. I appreciate all those numbers. Here's my final take on all the social media platforms out there and the ones that I like. So the YouTube and Instagram are really their threads and Facebook. They're really there for me to use as a one-way street. They're going in the direction of my career. And I am happy to make channels and content that help students and let people know what I'm doing. And other than that, I don't need it to inform me of anything. I come from a different era where we didn't have all this. And if you're listening and can't imagine how we did it, I have a podcast about that. So in a nutshell, I'd like for you, if you're any fan of Porter Flute Pod, to understand that this social media is here for us as anything from artistic expression to getting a good laugh. And if it's not fueling you, if it's giving you the compare-itis, or if it's making you feel like you're less than, then turn it off. You have the capability of turning off the, the phone or that box that you're watching and have the information come the other way. It should come out of you. It should come from within you. And it should come through your eyes and through your mouth and then when you're taking things in from your through your ears, it's going to be kind of through the filter, through your lens that you've created for yourself. So if you're feeling, again, stressed out, oh my gosh, all this social media, if you could just put it in the light that perhaps it could work for you, perhaps it's going to teach you. If you've been here since Porter Flute Pod started, then you've listened to over 90 episodes. If you have an idea for what our 100th episode should be, then shout out and let us know, and we'll take it under consideration. You can find me at amyporter.com. You can find this podcast at porterflute.com. My business website, amyporterproductions.com. And for your wellness curriculum, aos-wellness.com. And on Threads, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, I'm Porter Flute. Thanks for being in Porter Flute Pod. I'm so grateful for you. See you next year.